Dana, thank you so much for coming to talk to me today. Hello, nice to meet you also. <laughs> so, um, what role do you play at Northampton General Hospital? Right, for the moment I'm a junior sister on Brampton Ward, which is dealing with elderly people. We are looking after elderly, you know, we have to make sure that they are safe discharge. If they have any needs, we have to arrange that on discharge home or find a placement for them because, you know, after 70 years old, people are having different needs than the youngest one. So we have to make sure that everything is done for them and on discharge. Brilliant. And so how long have you actually worked for Northampton General Hospital? Uh, I just joined uh, Northampton General Hospital in 2014. I used to work in a nursing home before because I was scared to death to start with a, uh, with a hospital. You know, I'm coming from a European country which everything is different there. So I said, okay, I have to start my, my uh, career working somewhere which is a bit easier than in a hospital. And when they interview me, they ask me, where will you see yourself in five years' time? And I said, oh, five years' time is too much. Probably in two years' time, I'll be to the hospital. It was my goal from when I came to, to UK to, to, join the, to join the NHS. So yeah, from this is the fourth year. And I used to work in different wards. And now I'm on Brampton as a junior sister. That's brilliant. And so, have you had quite a lot of support with your career development? Yes, I had. I was afraid when I, when I joined NHS that they will just ask me to do what I have to do. But I had a lot of support. Everyone was very friendly and I asked all the time and they were very happy to tell me what I have to do and the way that I have to do. They offer me a lot, a lot of trainings. Uh, which helped me to develop my, my skills and make me more confident. So yeah, it's, it's really, really a good opportunity for, for the people to work in, uh, in NHS, not only for career, even for, for retirement or for the, the, the things that uh, the hospital is offering. So you can have, even from the patients or family, you can have a, a thank you for what you are doing for them, which is great. You are feeling like you did the right the right thing for them. So yeah, it's it's nice to work for NHS. Oh, I'm, I'm, not see... I'm not regret. I'm not regretting at no, all. <laughs> I can see you've got one of the lovely daisy badges. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't know anything about the daisy badges until a few months ago when I came on duty and I I found our lovely matrons on the corridors giving us a daisy. Uh, because they think that um, it's very important for the nurses to feel appreciated and they just want to encourage people to apply for this job and they just want to encourage more people to go to uni to become a nurse or to, to uh, learn things about nursing. So yeah, it was, it was nice and I didn't have anywhere to put it so I just applied to my, my badge. <laughs> yeah, it looks lovely. It's yeah. very pretty. It must be really wonderful to get that kind of recognition and support from the trust that you're working for. It as is well. because I have to be honest and I have to tell you that it's a very, very hard work. So if you don't have a little thank you at the end of the day, you are feeling so low. Even if you love your, your job a lot, if you don't want to do anything else, if you want to be a nurse for all your life. If you don't have any recognition from your colleagues um, from above, from, you know, for, from uh, sisters or uh, matrons, it's just a bit upsetting, but we have all of that. I just been told now uh, a few minutes ago about one of our matrons, oh, Elena, you are doing a great job. And I said, you know why? It's very strange because few people told me that in the last week and I didn't realize that people are looking of what I'm doing because they are not working on our world. So I think they are talking each other and they are just you know, talking about the people who are doing a good job. And I'm so pleased and glad that they, they told me that because I'm feeling I'm feeling much better and much confident to carry on with what I'm doing. And you know what, what is great? Uh, when the patients, are, when, when we discharge patients and they are saying, oh, you've been so lovely. I had everything I, 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 I needed from you. So 
you were absolutely fantastic. It's such a nice uh, feedback. If the patients are feeling that we are doing a good job and they think that they were looked after, this is what we, we have to know. It must be very rewarding to have that kind of commentary yeah. from your patients. It and is. To know that they're so happy with how you're looking after them. It's true. <laughs> That's brilliant. So um, what is it about Northamptonshire that attracted you here? What's your favourite thing about living here? Um, to be honest, I didn't know anything of England when I came here. I said, OK, I'm going for two years, increase my skills and then come back. 10 years now and I'm still here. Uh, I have my family here, I have my sister here. There are great opportunities for children. Uh, there are great schools. We, ha we even have the university colleges so they can go and uh, uh, learn a lot of things and they can have their career developed. Uh, people are very friendly uh, and uh, there are different communities in Northampton, so you can you can find a lot of different cultures, which is nice because you will look, you will find different things about the other people that you never knew it, unless you are reading on magazine or on, uh, you are seeing on the TV show or, you know, you are just finding out somewhere from somewhere else. It's, we have the opportunity, opportunity to, to go very easy to the motorway, uh, also, we have the airports closer to can go to our holidays. Yeah. So there are a lot of things uh, nice about uh, about uh, Northamptonshire. Even the Silverstone, you know, it's not everywhere in the in all the countries a uh, place where you have uh, you can see the Formula One. Uh, or oh, you can hear so, it from a couple of miles away. Oh yeah, away as well. <laughs> so there are a lot of nice things about Northampton and Northamptonshire, and uh, nice uh, nice. Um, places to visit, full of history also. So you can, you can have your uh, days off, you can enjoy with your family doing different things, you, you are not getting bored. <laughs> yeah, there's always something to do yeah. around here, Just the weather, there? it's a bit mm, I, Yeah, we can't annoying. really do anything about yeah, that, I'm I know. afraid. It's but just <laughs> even if it's raining, you can find something nice to do with your family, friends, or even on yourself. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, Eleanor. That was Thank brilliant. you.